Sorry I am late to my stream, but I got caught up watching the Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis apology video. <laughs> Why do people keep doing this? What? The internet's mad at me? I got an idea how to fix it. I'll just give a clearly scripted apology and deliver it with all the cadence of one of those AI robots. And I'll film it on an iPad from 20 years ago. That'll fix the problem. Why would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I st it all started uh, a couple of days ago. I started seeing a bunch of like random Ashton Kutcher bashing stuff on social media. Like I first saw some one woman was like, I know why he did what he did. And then they created this big long web of like basically accusing him of murdering uh, one of his friends that got murdered back like, I don't know, 10 years ago or something like that <laughs> and then i just kept seeing a bunch of like <gasps> ashton kutcher was always the most rudest celebrity i ever met <laughs> so i was like all right all right let's see what's who why are we mad at ashton kutcher if you don't know a couple years ago uh his co-star and friend got arrested for allegations of rape. and then a couple weeks ago he was convicted of those crimes so good stuff all around good stuff so why are people mad well, there's a very common practice in the United States, and I'm not surprised that most Americans don't know the common practices or traditions of the country they were born and raised in. What? Learning things? Not in my America. We like to keep our heads empty, but our stomachs full. Mostly of corn syrup and various other chemicals. You know what they say, whatever doesn't kill you will definitely give you cancer. But anyways, when someone is convicted in America. It is quite common for before the sentencing, which is when they get how many years, whatever their punishment is. It's very common for family members and friends to write letters of basically like a character witness to the person in hopes that the sentencing will be slightly lessened or to give more context to whatever. It's very common. It happens all the time from your, you know, one of the time criminals to your career criminals. It ha It's it's something that's done. Unless, of course, you're like a complete horrible monster. Nobody has anything nice to say about you. So in this case, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis being friends with this guy for a long time were asked by his family to write one of these letters, um, which is pretty normal. The only not normal thing is he had 50 of these letters, which is most likely because he's associated with a certain group that will not be named. And so people are mad about this because they're all like, I would wait, hold on. Let me just get on my high horse. I would never oh, wait, wait, let me just get on my soapbox too. <sighs> I would never do such a thing, which is easy to say when you're not in that position. Talk is cheap, but we'll see what happens when it's your family member, your friend, or worse, your spouse who has their head on the chopping block. We'll really get to see how your morals stand up, huh? At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that he was convicted for his crimes and that he's going away for a long, long time. As he should. I don't really care about the letters and stuff and people grandstanding about what I would never. It's just weird trying to grandstand for brownie points from the internet of all places. But then again, people are going to do whatever they're going to do. And I'm just here to enjoy the show. <laughs>